Good morning guys, Chris and the Ultimate Recycler. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 47 of the great cleanup. It's starting to drag. Um, oh, I mean, it's dragging for a while and I just keep myself going. The shoulder's been playing up a lot at night, so it's a bit difficult not getting a lot of sleep. I'm trying to ignore it and I certainly don't want to go on about it here, but I'm looking forward to having something done with it when I have time. Uh, what are we up to? Well, this morning, it's Friday. There are two days to go after today, Saturday and Sunday, and then we have Monday, which is supposedly settlement date. It's at least the day that the email from the conveyancer says that I must vacate the property. Uh, and it says on or before, so I gather that gives me up till midnight Monday night, because that's, well, 11.59 is still on the 11th. Um, we've taken a load of e-waste out of the transfer station this morning. Uh, got rid of all that and all the waste oil so that will all be recycled which is great I mentioned in the last video that I am going to have to do a load to the to landfill which really annoys me but there's so much old carpet and and polystyrene that's had rats through it and and I know someone I think Lynn mentioned that it can be recycled uh, reasonably locally but not when it's in condition that it's come out of the shed and it's starting to break up so I'm going to have to take all that to landfill, which is disappointing, but it will clean up a big portion of the yard. To complicate matters a little bit more, uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon, showery weather this afternoon. So that gives me this morning to pack up all the boxes that have come out of the sheds and I certainly don't want to get wet. So I'll bring the van in for those shortly. But before I do that, I will load up the Uton trailer with a load of stuff out to the uh, transfer station as far as landfill goes. I'm going to have to pay for that. Um, yep, what can I say? It can't be helped, but one load in 20 years isn't bad when I've been cleaning out other people's sheds. Um, so Coco's with me again. She's chewing up boxes, as she does. So I'll get to it. I'll finish my coffee and we'll straight to work before the showers come. Okay, I've just flown home. Uh, it's just after 11 and it's raining already. Well, it's a shower. Um, not ideal. The Weather Bureau didn't say rain till this afternoon. Uh, Dean, my mate, just turned up. He's going to Oh, I'm in the wrong car. He's going to um, help me load the van because we've still got a lot of boxes out of the sheds that need to go under cover. I haven't finished loading the Uton trailer with the rubbish yet. Uh, I won't make it out there by midday today, but uh, that doesn't matter. I can go out there tomorrow. Important thing is now to get the van loaded before all the stuff gets wet. Uh, it's just after 11. I'm normally having an 11 o'clock coffee by now. Uh, it's the 11th hour of this series, and hopefully we don't get 11 mil of rain Right, better get to it. Okay, it's now about 3.30 in the afternoon. The showers, we have had some intermittent showers with sunny breaks in between, so it hasn't been too bad. We got the van loaded from all the stuff in the backyard and Jess and Melissa, my daughters, have just actually helped me unload it at home. The carport is looking very jumbled. Um, it's certainly going to be the first place that I target as far as cleaning stuff up. We don't want our house to look like a tip site, but... You know, it's just a matter of necessity at this stage. Uh, fortunately, that's pretty much all what has to come home. There's not much else to go. A uh, little bit of stuff there. Let's go and have, it at the store, have a look at the storage shed. Uh, there is a pile of stuff in the old tech room that has to come home, but that could just about go in the territory. I think I can start loading the van with scrap for a run next week now. Bit of stuff that can stay outside. Uh, and all these wheelie bins with various grades of copper wire and other tubs and scrap buckets. Oh, there's a few more of those that have to come home, but they'll come home in the trailer perhaps tomorrow, and they can stay outside anyway. Uh, so, yeah, there's not actually a lot else to come home, which is really good. Let's have a look in the emergency storage shed. It's pretty full. The girls were priding themselves on their Tetris skills, and it is packed. It is absolutely packed. It's still not quite full, but I do need to leave access through to my main shed. And as far as unpacking all this goes, it's going to be a long, a long effort. But I plan to get onto it fairly quickly. I will have spare days each week now, which is great. I don't have a yard to look after. I've discovered that I own about four welders. I don't know why. Uh, the old pie warmers make excellent uh, workshop drawers for spanners and things. So I'll probably clean those up and there is another set somewhere and use them in the workshop. So, okay, there you go. One big solid block 
of stuff. Uh, we would have been in all sorts of trouble if we hadn't had this emergency shed built. So anyway, it's going well. I can get a bit more in here. So it will suit our needs beautifully. It will uh, provide shelter for everything that we need uh, under cover until I can get to it. So next, well, I'm going back to the shop for a quick coffee. And then I might, well, what will I do? I'm not sure. Coco's back out there on her own, so hopefully she hasn't destroyed things. Uh, I might start packing up a little bit, perhaps around near the back door, a bit inside. Uh, I don't think I'll start loading the van with scrap today. We've had a pretty big day already. Um, so yeah, and perhaps starting to organise the shop for the weekend. Uh, I will have it open the next two days. Uh, and I was just saying to Jess, I think she's going to come and help me Sunday. We might just put almost everything out on the footpath, have a free table, have um, a lot of the shelving really marked down cheap because whatever's left there, we'll either have to move to Christine's shop or donate to a local op shop or something. So we might as well take advantage of a, a nice, hopefully a nice weather over the weekend. Back at the shop now, we've just had another shower of rain and it's got very cold. It's about 4.30 uh, and I just thought I'd give you another look at the yard. Now Dean spent a couple of hours here today, probably about three hours, and he's raked up the yard, he's moved a lot of stuff. He loaded the van pretty well on his own while I was loading other things. Um, he's been an awesome help and I really appreciate his efforts just turning up and helping. I've got to admit I was probably never going to ask people to help um, and Dean's just turned up and said let's get into it. It's been really helpful because I doubt I would have been able to do it without him. I also must thank my girls and Steve, my son's here for the weekend and he's already put in a good few days here. And Christine, of course, is an absolute marvel. So I've got a really good circle around me of family and, and a few friends, which is awesome. How good's the yard? It's looking great. Uh, we've got, I reckon, other than all the scrap at the back, I reckon we've got one more load in the ute just to go home. Uh, just a bit of copper, those last few saucepans I still want to sort out. Some drums of scrap here. Uh, that bin there is full of insulated wire, quite heavy stuff. Uh, I'm taking that stand home, I've mentioned a few times. Uh, and I still need to message my firewood guy, I haven't actually got back to that. And all that stuff will pretty well load up and clear the yard out. Uh, the little bit of spouting way over near the fence there, the guy just rang me, he's coming to pick that up in about half an hour. The sheds are all done, all cleaned out. I'm going to leave this structure here. I did offer it to my scrappy uh, and he wasn't overly fussed. So I said, don't worry, we'll just leave it here. It's not going to matter. Uh, it's probably the only thing that I've put on this block that I'm not actually taking, but I don't think they'll complain. We're going to leave the yard actually a lot neater than what it was when I moved here. Um, so yeah, it's coming along really well. Okay guys, the sun's setting on another day, another great day of activity. I'm pretty happy with what we got done. It was a bit of a rush during the day when we thought the rain was going to really set in, but we got a fair bit organised. Nothing got wet that shouldn't have got wet. Um, so there you go, another episode finished. This one's a bit shorter again. Apologies, I'd love to make them all. I know a few of you have really enjoyed the longer videos. It just takes me too long to get them all up and I don't want to just keep talking about the same stuff all the time. But you seem to all be enjoying the ride. We have the weekend to go, two days to go, and then Monday is D-Day. Uh, I think we're looking pretty promising now. I tell you what, I, it was touch and go for a while. Some days I would be like, I think we can do it. Other days I'm thinking, oh my God, I forgot about all that stuff over there. And uh, I said, I'm just fortunate that I've had some help. And also I forgot to mention before, my brother Greg and nephew Ben came up one day from Melbourne to give me a hand. So. I really appreciate all that help and it's been people that understand what I'm doing and what I'm about and, and don't like seeing stuff go to the tip and even Dean was funny because he likes his old furniture and he can see value in things and he even some things that I said oh look we can't take that it's a bit rotten let's just burn it and he's saying oh don't do it while I'm around so I'm surrounded by people that do understand me, which is great. I'll tell you what, I would hate, if you've ever seen one of those hoarder shows, I would hate to be the person where people just muscle out of the road and say, we're cleaning up for you, you sit down and watch. That would be like torture. So I'm pleased that I've got to do this um, whilst I'm young enough to do it, because if I had stayed in this shop another 20 years, it probably would have been that 
situation so yeah look as it's turned out this shop selling was probably a real blessing and i'm really looking forward to the future getting into my shed at home doing a lot of projects that i will now hopefully have time to do uh, i'm still a collector i'm still a dealer i maintain that i've never been a hoarder uh, i'm still a scrapper i still plan on taking e-waste i'm just going to have to be a lot more efficient because we don't want piles of junk building up everywhere and i don't have the luxury of the space anymore so uh, that's okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, the future is rosy. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you tomorrow for part 48 and Hopefully the yard is pretty well spotless after tomorrow. See you then. Bye for now